five-time Australian kickboxing champion, Rob Powder has been fighting since he was a teenager. With nearly 50 fights to his name, Rob's storied kickboxing career has seen him fight for a world title in France. He's got another fight coming up on Friday night and he's training every day, hungry to snap a rare losing streak. But he's not training for a kickboxing match. He'll be locked in a cage with a man named Machete in a mixed martial arts bout in Northbridge. Rob started out as a Muay Thai kickboxer, trying his hand in boxing and MMA and winning most of the time. A decorated fighter with a local cult following, he certainly hasn't let the success go to his head. Uh, I've been fighting since I was 19, so nine years, going on 10. Um, had my first fight two months into training, so it went, got into it pretty quick. Uh, I started off as a Muay Thai fighter, uh, had kickboxing fights, boxing fights, and jumped in on the odd MMA one. Now I'm doing MMA pretty much full time. And some people like skateboarding, rollerblading, BMXing or whatever. I like getting punched in the face. <laughs> now 28, the crowd favourite has turned his attention to one of the world's fastest growing sports. MMA has exploded on the back of the US-based Ultimate Fighting Championship. A combination of stand-up and grappling skills, MMA is a proving ground for fighters from all combat sports. Rob's world-class kickboxing credentials should hold him in good stead. A former South Pacific kickboxing champion, Rob has an arsenal of devastating kicks and punches and a powerful clinch. His Muay Thai background should also give him great cardio. An MMA fight can take place standing, up against the cage or on the ground. Every position is dangerous and every position is exhausting. In an MMA fight, poor cardio can be exposed in a brutal fashion. That's why Rob takes it to the limit in the gym, leaving no stone unturned on the path to fight night. As dangerous as he is on his feet, he knows there's a lot to learn about the ground game. Wrestlers or Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighters will look to win fights on the ground, so Rob started working on his grappling. In one of his first MMA fights, he finished his opponent in a guillotine choke, showing some natural ability on the mat. But it's a steep learning curve, and it's Rob's burning desire to become a better fighter that keeps him working hard. He trains seven days a week to compete at a professional level, sacrificing time with his partner and two children but it's time well spent for a man who wants a belt around his waist. Uh, I train anywhere between, depending on the day, three to six hours a day. The, the amount of training you have to put into an actual fight, you know, working at the same time doesn't really allow for it. But uh, my ultimate goal, yeah, I just want to, I'd love to just fight on the biggest show I can get on and hopefully win a world title. With years left in his career, Rob still has the time and the passion needed to rise through the ranks. If he can beat Dave Machete Johnson on Friday night, he'll be one step closer to a title shot. The whole rush of uh, the lead up to the fight, like that's a couple of weeks before the fight is when my adrenaline starts kicking in. I could be in bed and just get woken up by a sudden burst of adrenaline. Just, you, know, you think, you, it's good to say, it's premeditated, you know, about weeks to think about the fact that I'm going to be getting into a venue and fighting someone who's equally trained to beat me up. You know, that's where the rush comes from. So I've coming off a losing streak, so yeah, I'm pretty, pretty hungry for the win. <laughs>